All right, so in example number four, we're going to be solving a two by two system, which we've learned um, in this class how to do it by many methods such as graphing, by substitution, um, elimination. We can even do it using matrices. And so we've actually learned four different ways. And now I'm going to introduce one last one, which is um, using Kramer's rule. Um, it probably is the longest of, of all of them. And so it probably isn't the one that you would gravitate towards in the beginning, but it is an interesting one nevertheless. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that one works. Um, and uh, so some of your assessment questions may ask you to use the Kramer's rule to do that. Um, but again, this is just one other pathway to get the answer. So if you're just trying to find an answer, this is just one way of doing that. You can use any method really to do that. And that's one of the beautiful creativity of mathematics is there's always many ways to get to the answer. So here's the technicality of it. There's a lot of letters in here and I just hate starting with the rule. So I like to just start off with an example really and then we can tie it back into our, our rule right here. And so we'll kind of go back and forth so that we can see how this rule works with this. All right, so here we have a two by two. Well, really, I mean, it's gonna be a two by two but this is just a system of equations that we saw from last chapter. And so how are we gonna solve this? Well, what we have to do here is we solve for x, as you can see right here, by finding d of x and then d. And then we find y value of doing uh, d of y and then d, where the d means the, the, the determinant. So you can say the, the determinant of x and then just the determinant, determinant of y and the determinant. So, Basically, those are the three things that we need to find then, is the determinant of x, the determinant the, the determinant of y, and just the regular determinant. Um, great, so let's go ahead and do that then, right? So this is how you find the determinant. Not, the, not d of x or d of y, just the regular determinant. And that is you just take th these coefficients, see right here, two, negative three, three and four, and that becomes our determinant. And this is where it is right here. D is equal to a sub one times b sub two minus a sub two times b sub one, which is coming from right here. So that's where that comes from. So that's the first thing, and that's pretty simple, right? We've been doing that already. So if we did that right there, that would be eight minus, and then if you multiply this, this is negative nine. So that means it's gonna be um, 17, okay? So we're gonna kinda tuck that away right now. So we know that our determinant D is uh, 17. Okay, so when we do this right here, we know that that's going to be our denominator now. So now let's go ahead and find the determinant of x then. Okay, so if I want to find the determinant of x, this is what you do here. Okay, you replace the x column with this guy right here. Okay, so I'm going to do that right here. Negative 26 and 12. All right, so I replaced the x column. Why? Because I'm trying to find the determinant of x with this guy. And then this guy right here, do you just copy down those coefficients. So negative three and four. Okay, um, so that's how you find uh, d of x, the, the determinant of, of x. See, and this is where this comes from right here, where c of one, c of two became uh, this guy right here, and then b1, B2 is that. All right, so let's go ahead and do that then. So we're going to multiply 4 times negative 26 minus negative 3 uh, times 12. Okay, great. So as we work that out right there, so that's going to give us right here a negative 104. And then multiplying this out right here, we'll get 36. And when we do that bad boy, that will give us negative 68. Sweet. So if we wanted to find x right now, what is x? If we look at back up here, x is d of x over d. So if d of x is negative 68, d is 17. So if we did that right there, that would give us negative 4. There it is. So that's how you find our x value. And now if you want to find our y value, we need to find the determinant of y. And the way that you do that is you keep the x column 
the, with the same coefficients, but now we change the y coefficients with these guys right here, see? So that would be a, a negative 26 and a 12. Cool, so let's just go ahead and uh, multiply all that out there. So uh, two times 12 minus three times negative 26. All right, let's go and do that. So two and 12, that's gonna give us 24. A negative and a negative is positive and three and 26 is gonna give us a 78. So plus 78, which would give us 102. So if I wanna find y, y is d of y over d. So the determinant of y is 102. D was uh, 17. So that right there would then give us six. So our answer, right, it's always a, a coordinate point here is gonna be our x and y number. So our x is negative four and our y is uh, six. And this right here will be what we're looking for. So as you can tell, like, you know, like I said, this is uh, much longer than doing the, the graphing method or doing substitution or elimination. It's just another way of using matrices and specifically here at Kramer's Rule.